Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Heard That. Zach Barnes, as always, here with you this week. The Lady Buffs started conference play off very well, almost doubling their score against Western New Mexico as they ended up getting a 100-52 win over the Mustangs. Sydney Walton leading the way on that night with 24 points. Buffalo basketball also starting conference play off well, also taking on Western New Mexico. Buffs able to get a big 91-55 win over the Mustangs. Jordan Evans leading the way in scoring with 16. On Saturday, Lady Buffs taking on Eastern New Mexico. Sasha Watson able to get 23 points on the board herself, but the Lady Buffs do fall 67-72 to the Greyhounds. I think it's first evaluate what's going on, what changes we need to make. Um, and we need to make a few changes from the defensive end and then offensively as well. Um, but moving the ball side to side, things like that from the offensive end, I thought the ball just died a few times. You know, Eastern was really physical and I thought at times we were not matching their physicality. Um, but we had a lot of looks. I think there was a stretch in that second quarter. We missed three like wide open layups. So some of those you got to finish and that's a little mental toughness. You got to focus and make sure those layups go down. And then in the night cap buffs with a big win over Eastern New Mexico. An exciting second half got pretty close, but the Buffs still were able to get the 92-86 win. David Chavovic, of course, scoring the most on that night with 22. Yeah, a couple, uh, couple big, big wins for us to start the conference season uh, with Western and Eastern, and, and uh, hopefully we got better this last weekend. But it's always nice to start at home, get a couple wins in the conference, and be on top of the conference. And, yeah, you know, that's, it's, this is my third year now uh, with, with, the, with the team and Coach Gove and Coach Henderson. Third year for all of us and yeah, our first year coming in, you know, we were 17 and 12 and we really weren't supposed to win too many games and we, and we had a nice season at 17 and 12 and then this last year, 21 and 10. And now, yeah, we're kind of being targeted a little bit and, and we have some rankings and some things like that and we talk to our guys about that and we really want to stay humble and really compete. And I think our guys did that this last week and I think they really were humble and they got after it. Uh, and I think we learned too from the Eastern game how important it is to take care of the basketball, especially when you get that lead. You know, let's get some great shots, really force them into some tough shots and put teams away. And we really didn't do that with Eastern. They got back into the game, but again, we closed uh, very well with, with David, Ryan Quaid, Carl. I mean, all those guys made some big plays down the stretch. And then both teams again in action last night. Lady Buffs, of course, started against UT Permian Basin. Lady Buffs ended up getting a big 78-50 win over the Falcons. CeCe Wooten and Sasha Watson leading the way with 17 points apiece. Lady Buffs moved to 7-2 on the season, 2-1 in Lone Star Conference play, as tomorrow they will head to Denton to take on Texas Women's. They just played Angelo State um, the other night at at Angelo, uh, thought that they were actually started off pretty tough against them. But they're athletic, Kanisha Sago, um, she's solid and she'll be back and playing and we'll have to defend her. There are a few new faces as well. Um, so we always have our hands full when we go down to them. And then last night in the final game, the guys took on the Falcons of UT Permian Basin and as anticipated, a fairly high scoring matchup as the Buffs ended up winning 89-80. David Shavovic with another big night scoring 28 points. The Buffs record now improves to 11-1, 3-0 in Lone Star Conference play. As on the 10th, they will play their only game through this week as they will go to New Mexico Highlands. You know, it's been great. It's been great playing at home. Um, we're going to get tested on Saturday at Highlands. You know, they've got a team that's very kind of some wild cards that they can really score, score the basketball. But As always, we would like to thank you for joining us this week on Heard That. Also, as always, be sure to keep up with all your favorite Buff and Lady Buff sports on GoBuffsGo.com and come back here every Wednesday for Heard That. For the WT Sports Network, I'm Zach Martins, and we'll see you next week.